Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Spore. This is episode 12, and whoa, check this thing out. I don't have any pets, otherwise it would probably steal my pets. <laughs> Very cool. And why are our guys... Oh yes, of course, they're celebrating because, as you guys will remember, we uh, made it. We are now the top tribe around, and we can advance to the civilization stage. So yes, these guys are running around like crazy, celebrating going to share the joy with the, with the different village here. And yes, that's what we will do now, I think. There's nothing left for us here in the tribal stage. So let us do it. Go back home here. Wild animals are coming to steal our food. Ah, that's alright. Because we're going to advance to the civilization. Okay, here we go. So yes, let's take a look at our history very quickly. It's a brief history because sadly, as you guys will remember, we lost our our, our history um, from before the tribal stage because of that glitch, that annoying glitch. But as you can see, we started pretty industrious, and uh, as we, you know, while well, we even almost went to, to the aggressive si side after conquering the Cyan tribe, but then as we gained more friends and gave gifts, we became friendlier and friendlier until we allied with the last two tribes, and that made us friendly. Friendly tribes understand the importance of teamwork. Indeed we do. They form alliances to share resources and prosper with other tribes. Yeah, exactly. That way everybody wins, right? So, onwards. That's going to determine a few things in the civilization stage. And there we go, a little cinematic. <laughs> Let's make a town hall, they're saying. Good idea. Your tribe now dominates this continent, ready to advance from simple village life to civilized city living ahead of the rest. Indeed. So guys, I have played around a little bit, as I usually do. I played in the civilization stage and then I just didn't save my game. So, you know, at least I know a little bit about how things work now. I'm not going in completely noob. And the first thing we need to do is design a city hall. Now... The thing is, this kind of takes a while, so I'm going to just stop recording for now. And when I've got something that looks half decent, I'll be, I'll be right back. So yeah, see you in a second. Okay guys, there we go, that didn't take too long. What do you think? I've described it here as Mandel Hall, the first of many city halls of Mandalopolis. And yeah, I really like it. I went through all of, of the different paint jobs here. And the very last one is the one that I chose. I think it looks quite nifty. I mean, if you just randomly look at some of the others here, you'll see they're kind of crazy sometimes. And sometimes really interesting, but n not quite my style, you know. But, <laughs> yeah, so this one I think really, really is nice. Matches our previous tribe colors quite, quite nicely. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'll stick with that. Next thing, so let's just click O. Oh, Okay, here. Yeah, you'll see just before I click OK, all the different parts you get roofs and connectors and doors and windows. But once you get too many of the things attached, then they start disappearing. You see, there are too many parts. So I've still got, uh, you know, currency budget left over, but I cannot add anything else. And I'm satisfied with this anyway. I don't know if these gadgets and things do anything, but I don't think so by, you know, telling by my pre game that I played earlier. So yes, let us see. Let us see what happens. Save and exit. The Mandel Hall. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> that I symbol means rel religiosity. Because we are a friendly uh, tribe, and you know, ended, ended friendly in the tribal stage, we're going to be a religious city. We're going to try to convert everybody to our religion and thus take over the world by theocracy. Which is quite ironic because I am probably the least um, religious person that you guys will, will ever know. <laughs> but yes, this is how it all begins, right? Religions are invented and civilization gets to, to advance because of them. Unfortunate necessity. Woohoo! Celebrations! Magnificent town hall. <laughs> You're about to enter civilization. Okay. 
Oh, right. I forgot about this part. <laughs> okay, so one of the main things we're going to be using instead of controlling our, our, uh, you know, our, our, our members, our civilized members of society, we're going to be controlling the vehicles. And so I have to, you know, go through all of this and design us a cool vehicle. We got religiousness here instead of weapons. These effects, I'm not sure if they do anything. I don't think so. They're just for effect. But yes, you'll see here like the different things. <laughs> of course, by music. So we're going to convince everybody to join our religion with music, which is not quite, you know, not that different to how it is in real life, actually. Just impress them with emotion and, and, and they're, they're bound to join you. So yes, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be adding all sorts of cool, uh, what's this? The Ghost 211, Pi Piper, Harpsichord, Bombastic Gong. Yes, I'll add all these sort of things. I'm not sure why I would choose the less religious power over... It's not that much more expensive. I've got 5,000 budget, so... Anyway, let's see how it turns out. Not sure of the design that I'm going to be doing yet. All right then, guys. What do you think? Uh huh? I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> it's a little bit bulky, but I needed space to put on all the instruments. I got all four of these instruments on, so we've got lots of religious power to convert the infidels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like the style too. If you take a quick look at all the others here, there are quite a lot, just like with the, the town hall, but most of them are kind of funky. don't really like them. I mean, some of them will do, but <laughs> look at that. Horrible. Man. But yes, this one, I think, out of all of them, really looks the coolest. There is an option where you can paint it yourself and do different designs, but I don't have the patience for that. So yeah, this is what is going to have to do. Alright guys, so, um, oh yeah, and just to show you as well over here, I chose these wheels. Wait, where are the wheels? Here we go. I chose these wheels and these wheels for speed and health. And I put some boosters on at the back here as well. Oh, you know what I didn't put on, actually? I'll quickly put on some lights. Uh, let's check it out. What, what do we want? That looks pretty cool. Yes! Oh my gosh! That is amazing! <laughs> and at the back, let's see, uh, something cool. Plasma lathe. Ooh, yes! Yes, I think I will put that on. And... And a Nemo peeper, whatever a Nemo peeper is. <laughs> no, wait, wait, let's go to something better. Tri beams, tri beams. Oh yes, tri beams. That is awesome. <laughs> there we go. I think that's enough booing. So let's do it. I've already named it. The Mandel Rod using the power of our rhythms to convert the world. Yes, indeed. Later on we can design a ship for the seas and an, an aircraft once we have converted four civilizations, I mean four cities, sorry, <coughs> excuse me. But okay, let's get started, finally. I'm drinking some water quickly, and there we go, hello. Hello, I think we can change our appearance now as well, but I'll do that off camera. There we go, that's our city, awesome. I do like these um, what they've done in the game, they've got these, you can see the red things, we saw them before actually. The age of technology and transportation has arrived, your city is the first to appear on the planet, but your species no longer speaks with a single voice. Soon other cities will arise, built by factions of your own species. You must, uni you must unify to advance. Okay, yes indeed. And what I was saying about these things is, they are called spice mines, and that's a definite reference to to the Dune series, Frank Herbert's Dune. You now control the vehicles in the city planning for your nation. Da -da -da, you must interact with the nations. Yes. Progress bar. Okay, so they're just doing all of this that, that I already know. Uh, hold left turn mouse buttons to rotate. Yes, we know that. Arrow keys to pan, zoom. Click on a vehicle. And there we go, I think. I think we're done. Yeah, here's the spice mine. Very nice. Look for a nearby spice geezer like this one, then click on it to send your vehicle to claim it. Spice has become a valued commodity. Mining it will help fill the coffers of your nation. So yes, our currency is spice. 
much like in the di in the in the Dune universe. So let's let's do that first, right? Go claim. Uh, where's the nearby? Here, here we go. Let's get this one. <laughs> Come on, you. What's wrong with you? Let's get going. Stop being lazy. Yeah, Dune is one of my favorite series. Hey, look, look at this little. Oh, it's my species, but like devolved. <laughs> That's cool. So there we go. He launches his his uh, missile thing, and boom! It converts into a, a spice mine. Very nice. Now, as a as a religious city, I don't want to build factories. You can build factories to increase spice um, production, but I don't want to do that because it it causes unhappiness. And happiness is necessary to be an effective religious nation to convert other nations, other cities. So, okay, I want to make some more vehicles here. How much do they cost? 600? Yes, yes, I know, thank you. No, it's a thousand. Okay, well, that's fine. Take these two, go get another mine. I want to get production going as fast as possible. Unclaimed geezer on this side. Actually, I'll take one. Because another city will soon arise, and I, I want to be well established with my mines. There's another one. Here we go. Already, another city is being established. Kishwing. Ooh, pretty. Oh, you know what I should do immediately? I should save. <laughs> yes, Jody, that would be wise. Another tribe of your species has built a city on your continent. You may want to conquer them while they are still weak, or attempt to make them an ally. Yes, indeed. Now, the thing is... Oh, yes, what's our power? Healing or this ability repairs all of your vehicles. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, where's this guy? He's coming over. Good, good, good. So once he's done, I'm going to get them all together to my city. There we go. I think I've got all all the mines in my region. Now, wait a second. Where's... What happened to this guy? Hello? Unclaimed mine right here. Okay, let me... Let me just grab him to, to get it. Come on. You coming over? Good. Okay, so, more vehicles. And look at our people, they're celebrating <laughs> with music. <laughs> okay, you know what, let me show you guys this as well. Wait, wait, before I do anything. There's so much to do that I, I forget. I've got to save the game. Save. Most excellent. Save the game at a good point. Now I'm going to build a house here quickly. Um, oh, I need to design a house first. Uh, ready? Okay, so design a house. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, again, just give you a little while. I need to, because, you know, it's boring to watch this part. There we go. What do you guys think? I spent quite some time on this on this one, and yes, I really like the look of that. Our description, Mandalays, a humble abode for our faithful flock. <laughs> I really paid attention to the colors this time, and even used the painter a little bit to change a few things. And yes, that's the end result, and I like it. So there we go, let's continue. I'm actually going to save again very quickly, because... Uh-oh, I hope I... I hope I didn't cancel that house there. Let me just see. Resume game. No, no, there it is. Okay, good. So, it's quite expensive, but it's necessary to increase our our vehicle, you know, the vehicle um, number that we're allowed, number of vehicles we're allowed. And there we go. Oh, we're going to have to get more mines and fast. So, let's take a look. Wow, there are three cities already. Now, who are we going to make our first... who was the start? I don't even remember. Okay, let's just go to the red, because I don't like red. And we can grab a mine or two on the way, if there are any. I don't think there are any. Here's the red mine. We'll, we'll take that over to show that we mean business. Let's just take a look. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight over there and try and convert them immediately. They don't have any turrets yet, it doesn't look like. So let's see what happens. Our first act of, I guess you could call it war. 
you know what happens is you get this huge hologram here <laughs> and and being you know he's, he's dominating over and overpowering the minds of the city they, and they you can see the little bar that has to go all the way across to convert the entire city we might even be able to do it they don't have much in the way of defense oh wait I spoke too soon I'm being attacked yeah you can see that guy is being but we're making progress right I think so yep there we go it moved a bit more and the nice thing is this doesn't go down very fast so you can always come back so I'm gonna get back to the city here hey why is there a green guy here I hope they're not con like taking over my minds better not be okay requires more houses yes let's make another house put another house down over here we need entertainment as well you know that's gonna help with the religiosity it's only 800 um, you know what uh, do I do it no no you know what for now I'm just going to continue on uh, make more vehicles there we go get over here quickly where is it get here convert city only got one guy left here projecting but we're halfway so I mean surely that's that's a good thing here's the green and the thing is for example if the green are fighting with the red and we are fighting with the red then they become friendlier towards us because you know enemy of my enemy okay let's do it Ruth has been founded whoa we got cities all over the place let's see if we can be the first to to convert to one city what is this I don't know what that is I think they're they're unhappy I think that's what it is oh we're about to convert yes oh awesome in my pre-game it took a lot longer to convert a city for the first time so I'm very happy yes indeed <laughs> very nice they've come under our wing they've seen the light and have become Ooh, you've converted this military city by religious means if you keep this speciality you can build military vehicles to conquer other cities choose the city speciality um, do I want to no you know what I'm not gonna go all d divisive one military one one religious I'm gonna go I'm gonna turn them into a religious into a religious city there we go very nice and it's my town hall and do I have houses no that's a factory I gotta get rid of the factory okay okay so let's grab the factory sell it put another house down Oh, they, they've already got an entertainment area it looks like I think yes yes they do wait let's zoom in on that, that that's pretty cool nice yes okay good so we need to make one as well back home um, alright guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to design an entertainment building so once again I'll be right back but it's awesome right we've got our first city and things are looking good alright be right back and once again there we have it <laughs> this is my favorite one yet I tell you I made it particularly funky because it's supposed to be an entertainment building so it looks like two melons on top of each other and flowers and lights and things that are spitting out bubbles and all sorts of cool things everywhere <laughs> I love it and the description is the Mandel pad on Mandeltopia happiness is not just an emotion it's a way of life indeed so there we go guys now I took a quick look at how long I've been recording and it's already over like 20 minutes basically of of recording time so what I'd like to do is just put one of these down somewhere oh wait not here we already got one over here uh, let's go back quickly to to this city our original city back it's called Fractalopolis or something um, and then yes over here we, we stick one down over here close to the houses yay <laughs> they're very happy about that maybe let's zoom out a little bit 
I'm going to see them. <laughs> they love it. Okay, but now, now we've got to get serious. So I think just before I log out, I want to see, see there are some mines here. Uh oh. Let's take a look here. Any nation that gains more than a single city will appear on your communications panel. Hover over any nation's icon. Oh, I see. So now they've also converted a city. And they are not happy with us because we're a religious nation. Our nation's too big and our boundaries are too close. Yikes. <laughs> this planet trembles before our mighty armada. You will not survive. Prepare for war. I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so they're not happy with us. We're not happy with them. And we're going to start making vehicles galore and houses for more vehicles. Quickly. Let's do this. And you know, too expensive. Yeah, that's the other thing. Before I finish the episode, I want to go and convert some more mines. I know we, there are some on this side that are part of the orange. Oh, the orange have claimed it. I'm going to grab it right away. Grab him to do that, actually. And then here, make a few more. Oh, come on. Yeah, you see our mines are not producing fast enough. I'm going to come down here and, and grab this mine as well. It's far away from the orange nation. They're on this side of here. Uh-oh. Something's happening. What's happening? Your city is under attack. Defend your city by placing turrets, adding buildings, and increasing your happiness. Okay, which city is that, though? Okay, it's them. Okay, okay, um... I can't... Oh, come on! Vehicles, get over here. I need turrets, is what I need. But I... Ah, there we go. Yes, yes, place turret right there. Do it now. Quickly, turret! There we go. And you know what, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I think we'll take care of that. He's a loner. He dared come and face us all by himself. He will heal up because he's close to the city. And okay, we managed to defend ourselves. I want to get another... Let me see. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh, that is ours. And in the ocean, there's a red one here. Orange and... Oh, red. Orange and red are fighting. That we must remember. Okay, do I have all the mines? No, no, here, still. Let's just see, did we convert it? Yes, good. Okay, I'm going to grab all my vehicles and put half of them at one city and half of them at the other. Oh, no, wait. Our spice is under attack. Oh, the orange city is, is busy converting this side. Okay, wow, they got some real range. Look at that. Where is he? Oh, it's over here, hidden in the bushes. Quickly, come and get it. But okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to actually just end here. Let me just make sure I defeat this guy. Whoa! And he he's attacking what? Oh, he's also he's also after the mine. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can lure them closer this way, I guess. No, no, let's just defend our city for now. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. Save. And uh, yes, guys, I think I'm just going to continue here, but this is it this for this episode. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode where we're defending our cities and our minds from the Orange Nation, who seem to be uh, adamant on making war with us. So thank you for watching the, the episode, guys. I hope you liked it, the beginning of the civilization stage. And uh, yeah, we shall see what happens. Please leave a like, you know, because it helps the channel. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed already, why not? Go and subscribe, please. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you. Bye-bye.